Some of the things we're finding commonalities in the ports that it's connecting to are ports 2222, 2221, port 6669, and port 7000. Those are common IRC ports. This is a new Trojan in the whole world for the trouble, but nobody knows about it. It's just a variation of an old Trojan. Uh, currently, I, I don't see them as a big threat. The threat I see is that these clients are still infected. Um, if they can redirect this traffic back to another server, that's obviously a threat. Um, the two individuals themselves, I, I believe, to think that, that they're uh, maybe taking some shelter and laying low a little while right now. These individuals are typical of the hackers that I think you would see referenced in the media in most cases. Uh, a Trojan like this easily could be used by a foreign service. If I were a foreign intelligence agent, I would love to have uh, full connection into hundreds of PCs across the country. If you can infiltrate a government organization or a large commercial organization, perhaps steal trade, or trade secrets, uh, it's, it's entirely possible. But these guys were kind of doing this for bragging rights and they were the typical low-level hackers. And in our opinion, they generally weren't all that skilled. You like my channel? He's laughing, rolling on the floor laughing. He says, I'll teach you how to use them tomorrow. He goes, today I need to chill, because he's already done some, some attacks on some other people. And he says, teach me how to use what? He says, oh, these bots, to nuke people, to flood chains, to make FTP servers out of them to use them as F servers, and how to spoof through them. The guy says, oh, cool. He says, all right, we'll go over it tomorrow. So it's not just these two gentlemen. Obviously, he's showing other people how to use these tools.